And here in the Miami Valley, local public works are also encouraging people to stay home and only travel for emergencies tonight and into tomorrow morning. 2 News reporter Caroline Morse is live in Live Drive 2. Caroline, what do the roads look like? Well, Brooke, kind of what we're seeing right now is honestly just a lot of rain. We haven't really seen that snow or winter mix quite yet. This is the road that we can see right now. We're on 70 East. Our next turn is going to be the 675 South. You can see not a drop of snow in sight. No snowflakes on the windshield, but definitely a light rainfall. We've been seeing that for a couple hours here quite recently. Now for tonight, though, I spoke with local city departments, and they actually had emergency operation meetings with their fire departments to talk about this winter storm that's heading in from tonight and into tomorrow. They say their best piece of advice is for residents to get completely off the roads or just stay home tomorrow. If they don't need to be out, that this is a good opportunity for them to stay home. Beaver Creek Public Works is warning residents to stay home on Thursday pending the Arctic blast coming to the Miami Valley. Vandalia Public Works says they're focusing on main roads while the storm is present, like US 40, Dixie Drive near the airport, South Brown School Road, Poe Avenue, Webster Street, and Weiss Road. Um, we stay on those for the most part until the, the event quits. Um, and once those are cleared, then we'll start working our way into the, the larger neighborhood streets and then obviously into the smaller, you know, small residential streets as well. Vandalia says they are well prepared to salt the roads, typically use 150 tons to salt the entire city, and they have 750 tons on standby right now. Situation where we have to salt the entire city, we're using somewhere in 150 to 200 ton. Um, so, you know, the 750 definitely gets us through a couple storms, but we try to stay stocked up as much as we can. The Miami Valley may experience snow and ice for long extended periods. Local Public Works is encouraging drivers to be cautious around snow plows, but most importantly, help everyone get home safely. The, the guys that are in the truck, uh, for a long period of time. They're spending a lot of time away from their family and their friends and making those changes. Um, we have a really dedicated, good group of staff and I'm really, really proud of them and thankful for the work that they do. Now we'll give you live looks at the roads over the next uh, next hour or so here, but keep in mind for tomorrow, Beaver Creek Township's Fire Department Station 61 will have a heating center open tomorrow at 7 a.m. for people who have either lost heat or need electricity to supply medical devices. Live in Live Drive 2, I'm Caroline Morse. Two news working for you.